In this video, I'll be talking about additional network interface card in the Proxmox virtual environment. So here is my Proxmox virtual environment PVE2 and I have installed uh, one network card over here. So there was one physical network card which was installed here in this PVE2. Here is network. You can see here ENSP1 and on slot 0 and ENSP2 on slot 0. So this is another network card. You can see here that this one is not active this one is active and if you see here this particular network card is right now connected here but this network card is not having any virtual bridge and this is isolated now i can use this even for pass through but i'll not be using pass through i'll be creating vmbr1 so another network bridge i'll be creating and if you see my configuration of another node you can see here that this is another proxmox node here it is configured in this way that there were two network cards and both network cards are connected to multiple bridges and if you see here i want to have the same configuration because these are on the cluster and both nodes are there and both nodes should have the same configuration that's why i have configured it in this way so these are two different networks two different switches are physical switches are also connected vmbr1 is having 240.2 address and this is having 200.2 address and here it is having 100.3 and i want to have this particular network configured with vmbr1 and the address will be 240.3 and what i'll do here i'll just click on create create linux bridge and here i'll give it a name it is default of course vmbr1 it is fine and here i'll be bridging this to the port and what will be that port this will be physical port ensp1 s0 and if you see here i'll just close this ENSP2 S0 this is already bridged here and this is these both are active right now this is connected to this which is fine click on create create Linux bridge here I'll be bridging this to ENP1 S0 and here I'll just click on create now you can see that this particular port is connected to this bridge I'll first of all apply the configuration click yes and now you can see the port is active right now but you can see here there is no IP address assigned to it. I'll be simply double clicking this and I'll assign the IP address 192.168.240.3. This was my IP address slash 24 is my subnet. Apply that configuration first. Done. If you see here, if I go back here, 240.2 .2 is for this particular node and 240.3 is for this particular node. And this has started connecting now and i can even see in the shell if i try to ping so it is on both networks connected right now 192.168.100.1 which is the gateway for this it is getting the response from the gateway also and for 240.1 it is getting the response for both and if i check for pve also to make sure that both the network cards are connected 192.168.240 dot one yes it is working and with 100 dot one both networks are working and if you see here that we created the true nas it is also connected to true nas right now this particular node is also connected to true nas now here i am using for example uh, pfsense which is right now on this particular node but if i migrate it to this node because this one is having two network cards if i show you here hardware so it has got two network cards net zero and net one and both are on different vmbr you can see here this is connected to vmbr zero and this one is connected to vmbr one so if i migrate this particular vm from this node to pve2 it will definitely work fine without any problem